Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So currently with Windows Copilot, it does not start automatically in the background, in the stable version. So if we head over to our task manager, and we just go through our background processes here quickly. There is no process that indicates that Copilot is running in the background unless you manually launch Copilot. Now this could all be set to change because Microsoft is testing a feature that was previously a feature they were testing in Bolt 26052 in the Insider program. And now it seems that once again Microsoft is now testing the same feature um, that will show you Copilot as soon as Windows starts um, in Bolt 26100 which is the most recent Canary and Dev Channel build in the Insider program. Now, I have mentioned this previously, but thought I'd just give it a bit of an uh, overview quickly because obviously this could for some um, impact performance because obviously if you've got Copilot starting in the background when you launch your system, that could impact performance. Now, this has been confirmed by Microsoft over on X, and I'm quoting, they say, we previously documented it back in Feb, which was in Bolt 26052, and now they are re-enabling it, which is probably why you are seeing it once again. So Microsoft deciding to enable Copilot starting up and launching as soon as you boot up your system. Now, the good news is, is that this is not going to be for all users. So Copilot will only start automatically if you have at least a 27-inch display with full HD resolution or larger. And other good news is that if you don't want to see Copilot at startup and you don't want it, want it to run in the background when you boot up your system, if you are affected and have a 27-inch display, full HD resolution or larger, you can turn off Copilot in the settings from your personalization section to disable it. So as you may well know, you can just right-click on your taskbar, head to taskbar settings, and yeah, in the settings menu, yeah, you'll see Copilot and you can just pop that off and that should prevent it running. And if that doesn't, if we just head over to our apps and our startup, if this does start rolling out and launching automatically when you boot your system, there might be an entry that will be placed in the startups, the startup apps list. That's not the case currently in the stable version. But if you are affected by this um, monitor change with large displays, then there could also well be, if and when it makes it to stable, an entry here for Copilot, which you could also turn off just to double check. But nonetheless, I um, just wanted to put it out there to keep you posted. Um, Microsoft is now testing this new feature that will show you Copilot as soon as Windows starts. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.